Hello everybody. Welcome to this next video on numerical analysis. In this video, we will study about Newton's method. So, till now what we have done in this chapter, we are, what we are doing basically, we have an equation f of x is equal to 0 and we are looking for a root of this equation. So, we have studied bisection method and then we had fixed point method. So, bisection method, the good point is that this method always converges and bad point is convergence is slow slow convergence and then there is fixed point method fixed point method is basically we have seen that you have a problem f of x is equal to 0 you will convert it into x is equal to g of x and depending on what g of x you have cho chosen uh, the convergence state and everything is decided and there is uh, next method is newton's method this method is very fast we'll see it in the coming videos and here fixed point method uh, here uh, the convergence is not sure because it depends on g and uh, if it converges most of the times it is faster than the bisection method okay so we'll study about newton's method so let us see what is newton's method suppose you have this equation f of x is equal to zero for which you are looking for a root and suppose p is your exact root you don't know this root but suppose p is your exact root and somewhere near p you have an initial guess p naught right okay so what we can do suppose p naught is close to p if p naught is close to p so what i am doing I, i'll just write f of p i can write it as f of p naught plus p minus p naught i just added p naught and subtracted p naught so I, i'll make this distance this is your h so this is and i am uh, assuming that p naught is close to p so this is small right and using taylor series i can write it as f of p naught plus f dash p naught into p minus p naught plus f double dash p naught into p minus p naught square by 2 factorial plus so on so this is your taylor series now because f of p is 0 because p is the exact root because p is the exact root of f of x is equal to 0 so this is 0 so you get f of p naught plus f dash p naught into p minus p naught plus f double dash p minus p f double dash at p naught into p minus p naught square by 2 factorial and so on is equal to 0 now because next because p minus p naught is small so it means that when you increase the power it is smaller and p minus p naught cube is still smaller and so on so it means that these powers they are very small so i can neglect so these powers we will neglect so you can neglect only when p naught is close to p so you get f of p naught plus f dash p naught into p minus p naught equal to 0. So from here you get p minus p naught equal to minus f of p naught upon f dash p naught and approximately 0 because you have neglected something. So you have p is approximately equal to p naught minus f of p naught upon f dash p naught. So it means that this was your exact root and this is from where you started and you saw that if you use this relation that from p naught you construct p naught minus f of p naught upon f dash p naught you will get an approximation of p so we can design a method what we can do so you can design a method you can start with p naught then construct p1 which is p naught minus f of p naught upon f dash p naught of course your f dash should be non-zero then you construct p2 this is p1 minus f of p1 upon f dash p1 and then you construct p3 this is p2 minus f of p2 upon f dash p2 and so on so doing this way this is a sequence which we expect will converge to p why we expect so because 
here we have seen that if you uh, start with a p naught and then if you do this thing p naught minus f of p naught minus f dash p naught then you will be close to p more close to p so it means that if we repeat this process with p naught then we go to p2 p1 then p2 p3 so if you repeat this process you expect that you will have a better approximation for p we can mathematically also prove this mathematically this thing can be proved right so this is this is this design is called newton's method so basically this was uh, coined by newton that's why this is called newton's method so let me write down what exactly is newton's method newton's method is start with an initial guess p naught so how to start with that guess that p naught you can either uh, uh, graphically you can have an idea about p naught or you can see where your function are negative and positive then you will know that somewhere in between these two there will be your root right and you can take an initial guess there so that we will discuss in when we will do the questions then you repeat the process p n is equal to p n minus 1 minus f of p n minus 1 upon f dash p n minus 1 so start with an initial guess p naught and you repeat this process p n is equal to p n minus 1 minus f of p n minus 1 upon f dash p n minus 1 and repeat the process till you achieve your accuracy till you achieve the accuracy so what do you mean by accuracy it means that suppose epsilon is given in the question so when p n minus p n minus 1 that is the difference between two consecutive iteration is less than epsilon then stop So this is Newton's method. Graphically also there is a beautiful interpretation for this method. So I'll just I would like to explain that also. Graphical interpretation of Newton's method. So let us see. So I'm I'm uh, drawing a very well behaved graph. So you can do for others. Suppose this is the function. Um, this is f of x. And I am looking for a solution to f of x is equal to 0. So it means that I am looking for a point. I am looking for a point where graph of f of x intersects x axis. So this is what we are looking for. So basically this is the point we are looking for. This is your p. And suppose you start with a point p naught. This is your initial guess. So this point, this point is going to be p naught comma f of p naught. So let me draw a tangent here. If I draw a tangent here, this is a tangent, tangent line. What is the equation of the tangent line? Equation of the tangent line. So you know how to write the equation of the tangent line. This will be, you have a point y minus f of p naught upon x minus p naught is equal to f dash p naught. So let us, let us see where this line, tangent line intersect with x axis. This is the point. So let us see where this tangent line intersects x axis. For that you put y equal to 0 and from here you get 0 minus f of p naught upon x minus p naught equal to f dash p naught. From here you have x minus p naught is equal to minus f of p naught upon f dash p naught. And from here you have x is equal to p naught minus f of p naught upon f dash p naught. So this is the point you call you are calling it p1. So p1 this point where this line intersect x axis is p1 right so it means that you have started from here and when you do this process that p1 is equal to p naught minus f of p naught upon f dash p naught so basically what you are doing you are drawing a tangent at the point p naught comma f of p naught and then you are looking for a point where the tangent intersects the x axis so this is the point now you again draw a tangent here you go to this point this is your p1 comma f of p1 and again repeat the process this will be p2 okay and then you again draw a tangent here can you see you will move closer and closer to p right so graphically also you can see that this process this pn is equal to p 
पी एन माइनस वन एफ ऑफ पी एन माइनस वन अपॉन एफ डैश पी एन माइनस वन ग्राफिकली दिस इज़ अ प्रोसेस वे आर यू ड्रॉ अ टेंजेंट एट द पॉइंट पी एन कॉम एफ ऑफ पी एन माइनस वन एंड दैट टेंजेंट इंटरसेक्ट एक्स एक्सिस एंड यू कॉल दैट पॉइंट एज पी एन एंड इन दिस वे यू आर मूविंग क्लोजर टू एफ So this is the graphical representation of f of x. Of course, if you change your graph f of x, there will be different interpretation, and for some graphs, there will be no convergence because in Newton's method we don't guarantee convergence. In Newton's method, if function is well behaved, for convergence your initial guess should be fine. For convergence, your initial guess should be. should be close to the exact root okay fine so what i have done till now i have to told you what is a scheme for newton's method and there is one way to derive it from taylor series here and another way we can see graphically also right and there is a third interpretation of newton's method newton's method can also be seen as newton's method can also be seen as a special case of fixed point method special case of fixed point method how let us see you have f of x is equal to 0 i i multiply it with minus 1 so you have minus f of x is equal to 0 if f dash x is non zero so i can divide it with f dash x is equal to 0 now add x on both sides so you have x is equal to x minus f of x upon f dash x so this is a fixed point problem fixed point finding problem point finding problem right so this is your g of x so you can say newton's method is a special case of newton's method uh, fixed point method with g equal to x minus f of x upon f dash x so actually we can prove that because you know that fixed point iteration converges if g satisfies three conditions so we can prove that there is a theorem i'll not do the proof but i'll tell you the theorem we can prove that if p is the exact root then for sure there exists an interval around p we don't know how large there is no mathematical description for that we don't know how large that interval is how large that interval is but we know that there exists an interval around p this is your p there exists an interval around p delta here delta here such that if you take your initial guess if you take your initial guess in this interval it means that if you start with the p not here then the sequence p not then p1 is equal to p not minus f of p not upon f dash p not and then p2 equal to p1 minus f of p1 upon f dash p not p1 and so on converges to p okay so this is the theorem we are we are not doing the proof of this theorem but this theorem makes sure that for if you you have selected your initial guess wisely it means that close to the uh, exact root then for sure the sequence which you construct with newton's method is going to converge to p Okay, so these are the three interpretation I have told you about Newton's method. Idea is same that you have to start with the guess p one is equal to p not minus f of p not upon f dash p not and so on, right? So you can see it. You can see its derivation from Taylor's. You can see it graphically, and you can treat it as a special case of fixed point method. So this is up to you how how you want to interpret it. Special case of fixed point method. so this is your newton's method in the next video we will uh, do some problems on newton's method next video is problems on newton's method thank you